this Roblox game is hiding something. How do I know? Well, I'm the one who made it. Let me explain. A few days ago, I had the idea to make a terrifying Roblox game and disguise it as something innocent. So, that's where my game comes in. Players would click play expecting a chill simulator, but instead, they'd be fighting for their lives. <laughs> and by fighting for their lives, I mean trying to escape three levels of the back rooms. How would players react? Would they leave the game out of fear, or would they work together to try and escape? Well, that's exactly what I wanted to find out. So, I got to building. The game's done. It's It's been done for a while, actually. So, with the game done, I launched some advertisements to random players. My brother and I hopped in the game and waited for players to join. And we didn't have to wait for long. Oh, <gasps> someone joined. So, I should probably explain a few things first. Players start at a normal looking office. There's nothing here but a vending machine and a water machine. The water machine has a bit of a secret. You'll find out soon enough. But for some reason, every player was just absolutely obsessed with this vending machine. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Dude, straight to the vending machine, always. Yummy. <laughs> oh, and just like that, he's gone. Oh, but we got Mario in the game now. Oh, there he goes. Yummy. For some reason, players were only going to the vending machine and were leaving the game right after. I don't know if I needed subway surfers playing at the same time to keep players interested, but I needed them to find this water machine. So, I improvised. What do you think? Is this enough keep hydrating signs? No, I think we might need a bit more. <laughs> yeah, it was a little overkill, but I needed them to see it. We got A-Man in the server. Oh, he's moving. And with the quickest plot twist of all time, this random guy was our first taker. Welcome to the back rooms. This is level zero, and you get teleported here as soon as you drink the water. Level zero is pretty much just a maze of old empty yellow offices. Players spawn in the center of the map, and I gave them a sign that can be written on and placed anywhere around the map. There's also random panic shelters around the map with any basic things a player might need. What are the panic shelters for, you might ask? Well, let's just say the players might not be alone. Yeah, you're gonna hear more about these little guys later on. Anyways, let's get back to A-Man over here, who's the first one to figure out how to get to the back rooms. <laughs> oh, he's having a stroke. Yummy. Nom, nom, nom. Another player lost to the vending machines. I don't know why, but it seemed like A-Man was feasting. There was something about the vending machine that the players could not resist. What is wrong with these people? How are they entertained by this? So with the players just being glued to the vending machine and not cooperating, I had to take some drastic measures. Yep, I removed the vending machine. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I could never. I just moved it to the other side of the office so players wouldn't see it as easily. 2017 is probably the year this guy was born. This is probably a five-year-old right here. <laughs> okay, well, here's the words that he wanted to share with everybody. And there he goes. But with the vending machine moved, more and more players were actually figuring out how to get into the back room. This right here is Jerk. He went off all on his own and kind of became the first to explore level zero. He's, uh, he's pretty thirsty. So, while Jarek was waterboarding himself, players in the lobby were, uh, they were, well, I don't actually know what they were doing. Eventually, after a while of walking, Jarek came across one of the panic shelters. And here, he found what every player was after. Of course, he has to stop at the vending machine. Of course, you have to. He then proceeded to make a huge mess on the floor before packing up his things and leaving the panic shelter. He kind of just walked around the map for a while, drinking his water, unbothered. But after like 10 minutes, this happened.
Yep, Jarek left the game and he was never seen again. Now it's probably a good time for me to tell you what these things are. So when I started making level zero, I couldn't figure out which creature to put in the game. So I was looking around and this guy came up. Thought he was too cool to not include, so I put him in the game and decided to keep the name. I put a few around the map, but there's also one with the crown, which Jarek ran into. This is the King Jaw creature, and he's basically the same as the other ones, but he can walk faster and does more damage. Anyways, Jarek was gone, but there was other people figuring out how to get into level zero. I like how we get to see in real time how uh, fast these little goblins can type. I have no idea what they're saying, but uh, it's kind of adorable. can't be real people. I think there needs to be a study done on Roblox players because these are not real things that people say. This is not a thing you say. Like, wh what is going on? <laughs> Despite most players not having a clue what to do, some slowly began to figure things out. Like this guy, we'll call him Tanjiro. After searching around the map for a while, Tanjiro found one of the panic shelters. And of course, he had to use the vending machine. But after taking just one item, he left the panic shelter and he actually labeled where it was. This was definitely a step in the right direction. <laughs> Safe room, yes, very good, that's what it is. But right as I was gaining hope for Tanjiro, he reset. Why? I don't know, but I guess he needed a vending machine break. These guys are just chilling, just hanging around, having a grand old time. And after their quick break, Tanjiro and his new friend went back into level zero. And yeah, if you can't tell, I took out the water machine because nobody was taking the bait. What? Is he just trying to scare everybody? What? So the two of them began to explore. And with their vending machine snacks in hand, they took every single twist and turn until they eventually came across this. Yeah, the door's locked. So now's probably a good time for me to tell you about this panic shelter. This one is not like the others. It's got this button on the side. And if you can't tell, it unlocks the door. So Tanjiro and his friend left the door and started looking for ways to unlock it. And this person who was already there, I guess figured if they pressed the button enough times it would unlock? Uh, it doesn't. Anyways, right as Tanjiro and his friend started to look, disaster struck. Tanjiro disconnected and his friend left right after. Guys, this is so sad. Can we get three likes? So at this point, I was really starting to lose hope in these players. I went back to the lobby to see if there was anyone that stuck out that seemed like they might be at level zero. But as you can probably guess, it wasn't going that well. Everybody do not go on the wedding, you will die. Something's not right with that jaw creature. <laughs> what is this guy saying? What do these signs mean? These do not make sense. These were not put here by real people. Yeah, progress was really slow. But after like another 30 minutes, this guy ended up stumbling across the panic shelter with the door lock. And right as he got there, he heard what was probably the last noise he wanted to hear. I don't know what his plan is. I don't know how, but this guy managed to not only unlock the exit door, but also he locked two of the jaw creatures inside the room. 
It didn't last long though, because the next time someone stumbled across the room, the jaw creatures were nowhere to be found. I don't need it. I don't need it. At this point, I checked back on players in the office, and they were still doing exactly what you'd expect. Seriously, something is wrong with these people. But when I checked back on random players in level 0, I found our next main characters. Meet Obama Gaming and Big Master. They're in a bit of a situation right now, but the jaw creatures actually led them right to the exit door. Oh my god, Obama! They're actually back on the right path now. They're going in the They're right path. They're actually direction. getting away. Oh my god, they just went in a full loop. This is unheard of. Oh my god. Big Master is now stuck with both jaw creatures though. Oh, but he juked one. Oh, he juked the other. They might back up. You think they're shaking right now? Yeah, they're shivering in their tears. They have to be. Oh! Obama Gaming set! No! Yeah, so there's actually only one creature in this level, and that's this one, who disguises themselves to look like a random player in the game. But with the jaw creatures finding their way in, there's now three. So, Obama and Big Master led a group back into level one. And after almost no time at all, they found the door to level two. Wow. So after way too long, we were finally at the last level of the backrooms map. It's pretty simple, all you have to do is get past this one creature. But for some reason, this was still really difficult for most players. Isn't that the way they have to go? Oh! Oh! Yo, they better run! All fun and games until he gets up there. Oh wait, there's someone else at the top of the stairs, too. So Big Master found the upper level of this map, which actually takes you past the monster. Dude, this is kind of sad. He's the only survivor right now. I sort of lied about this being the last level. Technically it is, but there's one last thing in the way between him and the victory. The zombie. But this was not stopping Big Master. Dude, he's on mobile. Look at him. Okay, I, th I think this is a little too dramatic. So after watching like six hours of people just fail, Big Master was the first to beat the backrooms. Well, actually he wasn't the first. Somebody beat him right before that I just never noticed, so shout out to them. But now he had all the power in the world with the winner's items. So, him and the other winner flew around on magic carpets. His story's not over yet though, cause he returned to the winner's platform and he grabbed a sword. Oh my god. It seemed like Big Master wanted to help the other players, and so he returned to the back rooms. <laughs> and by return to the back rooms, I mean return all the way back to level 0, because when you die, you spawn all the way back at the lobby. But he was still determined to make a difference, and he got all the way back to the end. Yummy! Nom nom nom! And after beating level 0, 1, and 2 again, he got to the Yabi and beat it again. And so he beat the game a second time, but this time there was only one goal on his mind. So he grabbed a magic carpet, a sword, and this time also an RPG. And he flew off into the sunset. And by into the sunset, I mean into the backrooms map. And now there was just one thing left for him to do. Okay, okay, my bad. Now there was one thing left for him to do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 